all right y'all welcome back to another video so today i'm actually gonna end up looking at these nba templates i know i said i was gonna post my uh build video the point guard build that i wanted to use for uh this next season i'm currently leveling that build as well so and i actually found i found some jump shots too so i'm gonna post some jump shots soon but this this nba the nba templates are actually really nice uh, I'm looking at some stuff from this season and they did add more so I was telling you guys earlier in the year that if you wanted to use an NBA template it'll probably be a good idea I do feel like if you don't have a lot of VC to use you're not doing much with um, you know you need to have some V or need to do some stuff and you don't have VC all that stuff these are good ways to have a build and not have to worry about VC as much just because you get that player's animations. So you'll get like their layup before you, cause the main thing that matters to be honest in this game for real is like animations. If you don't have any animations, you ain't gonna be able to do nothing. So animations are very important. And on this game, like making an NBA template is not a bad idea, especially for somebody that you know that's new to the game and whatnot so we do have some new uh nba players here so let's go through them and i will be ranking them so this uh for point guards we gonna do the baron davis all right you know what i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna rank them based on because i think i'm gonna make this a separate video to where i'm gonna do it with each um position but what i am gonna do is give you my favorite one from each one so for um point guards is the derrick rose bro i'm not even gonna lie to you you get the 85 layup um the close shot is uh tied into the layup so that that's why that is a 65 but you get a 94 driving dunk 94 driving dunk is ridiculous especially considering the fact that i think that gives you slithery on hall of fame as well as you having a 93 driving to get you the uh posterizer really nice really nice man you could shoot the midi you get midi magician up uh, <laughs> midi magician on gold you also get a 76 three which gives you the agent threes on bronze so you do get some decent shooting badges on this build here and i do think this build is actually pretty pretty nice man it's a pretty nice build you get a 92 ball on an 88 uh speed with ball uh let me go into the customize real quick so we can see uh what we gonna get with this so you do get yep the slithery hall of fame like i was saying um you get the giant slayer hall of fame by having an 85 lay um the only thing i wish you loki got acrobat higher but whatever so we get the 84 mid you see what badges we get we get a decent amount of badges here like you you're gonna have some badges on this build bro that's one thing that you definitely gonna have we get all the dribbling badges gold except uh killer combos of course uh i think you need 93 for that yeah so you need 93 for that but to me i feel like the derrick Wells one is the best one here it do you see like it got little things that they have on here but when you change those it takes away the animation so it's no point in really changing that stuff so i just leave it how it is um but yeah that's a derrick rose with shooting guards we go i i would probably either say is the vince or the jamal crawford so and also what's the name got a decent build too the t-mac build i think the team to me i would probably give it to the t-mac build uh i am gonna go through all of these builds though in another video but the t-mac build is actually insane bro uh 94 driving dunk, 73 standing 85 lay so you're getting all the stuff the derrick rose bill get plus the standing nut you get an 84 on the mid-range with an 82 three-point shot 71 free throw so you already know like you see what we're doing we got the 77 pass accuracy which is higher but of course the playmaking is a little lower but you're 6 8 7 2 wingspan um 85 ball handle with a 75 speed of ball really nice there gets you that lebron james dribble style you can also get the Magic Johnson. Really nice there. 75 perimeter defense, usually where I have it. Get all the bronze badges except 94 feet. So 
that's really nice you get the steal at a 60 so you're getting the interceptor bronze like it, this build pretty much has everything it has everything that it needs like uh you do you do need an 87 drive away for fearless on gold so this build does only get uh fearless silver that's why the strength ain't a 65 but for the most part nice build there really nice build you see it say get two mac t mac is a gifted all-around two guard scores at a high clip from all three levels tremendous finisher and shot creator elite length at the two positions so really nice man t mac that's my favorite player of all time bro and um we 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 got some more we got uh another bill here so with the small forward i am giving it to scotty pippen bro the scotty pippen bill is the best i feel like this is the best like nba template player in the game so i'm gonna I'm try to sell y'all on the scotty pippen on this video like 68 close shot you get the master bronze that's whatever 77 uh driving lay that gets you you know a decent amount of driving badges but you're not gonna get nothing crazy 80 driving lay, like everything just look awesome it looks standard right 80 driving dunk decent little driving dunk there um get some athletic dunks when you drive to the basket you get the um 75 mid-range 83 pointer that's you know that's standard 75 76 ball handle 75 speed with ball uh pretty decent there you could definitely get some dribble moves off i only level my 6 8 player with a 75 ball handle playing point guard with him not having much issues at all so that that's not a big issue having a 76 uh we have the 94 perimeter with the 60 interior 81 steel so we get that interceptor on uh silver i believe um and then we get um oh my god then you get the 68 block for the chase down all that stuff bronze 66 rebound you get rebound chaser bronze really nice build really well-rounded build all around you get challenger hall of fame too really well-rounded build there so the reason why i'm saying the scotty pippen is the best look at it say a true prototype for, for a two-way wing equally adept on offense and defense capable scorer and creator for others defends several positions at an elite level so the reason why i say this scotty pippen build is ridiculous is not because of his stats because the stats are really nice it's actually a really good build but it's not because of that the stats the stats don't make the half of it you get scotty pippen's jump shot to me, Scottie Pippen's jump shot is one of the best jump shots I've ever used on this game, bro. And I'm not even lying to you. You get Scottie Pippen's jump shot, you have to have an 86 mid-range or 3 to unlock that jump shot. So, you get that with an 80, you get Scottie Pippen's jump shot. Not only that, you need an 89, 88 uh, driving layup to get the Giannis layup package. This build has a 77 with the Giannis layup package. Giannis layup package is the best layup package in the game, bro. So, you you looking at this build from a perspective of look at what it can get. I don't even think nobody has really talked about this. But this Scotty Pippen build is ridiculous. Like it's really good. And I I'm just surprised that no one's talking about it. I might make a video showcasing the Scotty Pippen build separately. That's how good this build is. But let's get into it. We got the, the power forward. Uh, for me, I'd probably say one of the better builds here, in my opinion, is probably the Kevin Love. So the Kevin Love build, get the 90 close shot, get you the fast switch, 70 drive and lay, dominant big. 55 drive and dunk, you know, it don't really matter as much as a big. Uh, 81 standing that's where everybody having their shit at anyway so 81 standing just gets you to rise up on bronze but you already get fast switch so you don't need the 83 to get fast switch silver 92 post control 92 post control gets you unpluckable gold as well as all the post badges on gold and two on hall of fame dream shaking post span really nice there 
93 mid, you're getting catch and shoot Hall of Fame, 85-3. Really, really ridiculous build there, honestly. 92 pass accuracy, so you get the ball, launch it down. Like, you get the pa every pass you get, it's a, it's a launch. Like, it's a, it's a nice, quick, fast pass. Like, you get an 80 interior, which is actually pretty, pretty solid. Only thing is, this build don't get blocked, so definitely you're going to have to play hands up. Um, but it's nothing wrong with playing a little bit of hands up, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I've, we, my, my dude, KG, our center, he made a build with no block and he just put his hands up and, and they, nobody could score. So that's not the issue. Like this build would be really nice. 60 steal, get you interceptor, 89, uh, defensive rebound, 81 offensive, really decent stats there. Could rebound with the best of them. I ain't gonna lie to you, it can rebound with the best of them. Um, 60 speed though is the only thing that's kinda a little worrying, but it's not as slow as like some of the other builds here. Uh, 90 strength gets you, you know, you get all the, you get uh, box out beast on gold. So yeah, or actually I think you get a Hall of Fame. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Yeah, you only get it gold because of the rebound. Yep. So yeah, you get movable forcer gold too. So that's another another sleeper badge right there. Um, but yeah, like you see this build, you get bailout because you're six ten. If you if you tar to six ten, you don't get bailout. But really good build, man. Oh, you get post fade Hall of Fame too. Really good build. The Kevin Love, really good power forward. Especially, like, you could play power forward and center with this. But it's a really good power forward. Um, and then, last but not least, we're going to go into center. And honestly, out of the new centers, I think the best... I honestly, I think the best one is the Hakeem. I was looking at the Hakeem, and I'm like, is it really that good? And I really started to think about it. Like, yeah, I think the Hakeem one is actually pretty decent. So... Once we go into the customize here, actually, let's, let's just keep it on this screen. You get the 93 close shot. I think that's getting you Masher Hall of Fame. You don't get Fearless Hall of Fame, though. I think you need a 95 for Fearless Finisher Hall of Fame, uh, which would have been crazy if he had it. But you get a 93. Uh, you get a seven, uh, 55 driving lay, uh, 46 driving dunk, 82 on the standing dunk. I don't know why they ain't go 81 with this one, but they went 82 on this one. 92 on the post control there so the 45 driving dunk actually gets you some dunk packages as well so uh driving dunk packages so you'll get a little bit of extra ones you get a 76 mid-range which is definitely easy enough to hit surprising believe it or not you can hit some threes with a 67 three uh open corner threes you can get some of them to drop we get um uh, free throw at a 74 with a 60 pass accuracy. So the only thing I don't like is that pass accuracy. I feel like it was pointless if it's not going to get me anything. Because this build don't get break starter. I don't think you get anything passing wise. So I feel like that was kind of pointless. 40, 42 ball handle. 40 ball handle gets you the normal. One of the normal uh, dribble size us. All that stuff. I don't think you get the normal dribble style. Because you need a 40 speed with ball. But you get an 88 uh interior defense which is elite um you know you get the gold badges and we get the 92 block which is also elite you get the gold anchor so gold anchor is really only a two percent increase i believe from silver so it's really not that substantial um but this build is actually really good though 93 defensive rebound with a 71 offensive uh, my dude kg got a 70 offensive and he was grabbing like a lot of boards with the 93 defensive because you get the rebound chase to go. You get a 51 speed with the 92 strength. So you get box out beast on Hall of Fame. I don't know what they were smoking when they was making this Kareem. I mean, making this uh, Hakeem build. But I don't think he got no box out beast Hall of Fame. Because he, he grabbed rebounds, but he wasn't like that. Like, they, Hall of Fame badges is when you, you like that. But you see, with this, you get the 51 speed. I... Like, I don't know why they put it at a 51. Like, you really could have lowered this by one. Probably throw it in here. Put it in some free throw or whatever. But remember, when y'all make the build, don't touch it. Because it'll, it'll take away the animations. But, yeah, man. This 
this bill here is really nice um no you actually don't get the masher hall of fame so they got the 93 for the post fade phenom hall of fame you get masher gold i'm really confused on why they did it this way but it is what it is uh, we get Master Go. I mean, um, yeah, Master Go with Post Fade Phenom on Hall of Fame. I think that was the way that they was able to get it Hall of Fame is through the close shot because they couldn't have a mid range too high because he wasn't that elite of a mid range score. But that that's it there, bro. Th these are the the five best NBA template builds. Um, I am gonna get into like all of the builds though. I, I do want to talk about all of them. I feel like all of them are really good. Uh, but this is you already see the video is kind of long. So we're gonna get into this another video really guys enjoy the video and as always No, wait <laughs> <laughs> He should have hit the like button